Hey guys, so from the start of this uh, 2D uh, grease pencil uh, rigging series, uh, we've been improving our uh, rig. So today we'll improve our initial rig a bit. Uh, so first let's delete this rig, this rigify rig, and its widgets as usual. Select all, delete, and then delete the collection. Okay, so we used to create this rig and then generate the rigify rig and then add our inverse kinematics. But now I want to improve the initial rig so that it includes the inverse kinematics. And also I will add bendy bones to it. So that if you have several models and you want to add this rig to them, you will just bring this rig and fit it to uh, your guy and then generate your rig. And you have your inverse kinematics instead of then adding those uh, things, inverse kinematics and bendy bones to each rig and each model. So in pause mode here, we, we used to use tentacles here. But we don't need here the, the features of the tentacle, so we will change that for a basic, how is it called, basic copy chain. Okay, here and also here. Let's just type copy or chain, basic copy chain. And disable controls here, because these bones, these four bones here, except this one, will be only the form bones. We will deform the bones and we, the, we want to use them to control the rig. Okay, we will use these guys to control. That's why these guys have control here and know the form. So, disable control. And there's also something bother me here. If you add segments here to your bone, you see that we have this weird behavior here. Let's put five here. Here you see we have this square. It's okay, but here you see that these bones are rotating in a weird way. So, I want to fix that before doing more stuff. Let's go to edit mode and check this guy. Let's hit N on the keyboard and go to the roll here and try to change it. I like to make it lower than uh, higher. So let's bring it lower and lower and lower so that we have our bone like this. I think this is good. Yes, minus 15 is good. And we try to do, this, to do the same here. So... Uh, Yes, lower and lower and lower and lower and okay, this seems good. So let's add all the bendy bones and then do our inverse kinematics since we started it. So select this bone, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And for the last one, we select this guy and then go here, right click and copy to select it. So here are our bendy bones. Let's add bendy bones to the feet too, not to the IK bone, let's hide it, itch, itch, so select one of them, we put in two, and then we select the three others, and select the first guy here, and right click, copy to select it, okay, these are our bones, now we go to pause mode, and start adding our inverted kinematics, let's first and hide our inverted kinematics here, so alt itch, go to pause mode, select your IK bone here, and then select the leg bone here and then Control shift c to add inverse kinematics and we go here we add the second bone and that is the how is it called the pole target bone and that will be this guy our flip bone our flip left bone so we have this mess of course every time we do this we have a mess <laughs> so we change this to two and we still have a mess our uh, leg is flipped in the wrong direction so we change the 0 to 180 degrees. It may be different in your case. It's working, but the knee is bending the wrong way. So we go back to edit mode and we just move this a little bit back to pose mode and we try again. Yes, it is working. How about the flip bone? It is working. Very nice. And then we do the same on the side. So select the IK, shift click here, control shift inverse kinematics and we add the second bone here our flip right bone very nice we change this to 2 and we change this to 180 degrees now we should add copy rotation to the foot bone so that it rotates when this guy rotates okay so we check first the rotation of this guy here let's change this to from quaternion because this guy confuses me Honestly to this guy XYZ earlier. So we have only X and Y and Z and then 
R to rotate and check and it's the Z axis. It's the local Z of the bone. How about this guy? Again, we change this and we rotate. Yes, it's the Z also. Let's lock these guys. And now we do this and then we select this bone and then control shift C. We add copy rotation. Let's now select this guy and change this to only Z. Of course, and this to local space. Let's test our rotation. Yes, it works nicely. So we do the same here. Control Shift C and copy rotation. Nice. We select this guy again. We keep only Z here and here local space. It seems to work too. How about if we move this guy? Yes, the knee bends correctly. How about if you change this? Yes, the foot flips correctly. Just one more thing, and it's an important step that I discovered I needed while making this tutorial. So if we use the setup like this, we would use the bend here, the bend in our foot. So what we want to do is select this bone and then add a new rig tip type here. And it's basic super copy here. And we want this bone to control the foot, the bend here. So we add control, we add a widget and it will be a circle. And we add the form too, because this bone also will deform the foot. We do the same here. So let's type super basic super copy. Yes, we have control, a widget that is a circle and the form here and here too. I think this is it. Everything is fine here. So the form, no control, the form, no control. We have our inverse kinematics, our copy uh, rotation here. Everything. Is supposed to be good and we have all these bendy bones here it's preferable to not have bendy bones in the hand but in the foot is okay so let's go back to object mode and let's generate the reg very nice let's put these guys inside the kit collection and hide our initial rig and unhide the kit i have of course my vertex groups Weight painted and all, I haven't deleted them. So everything should work out of the box. So select the guy, select shift, select the rig, and then control P. Parents with empty grubs. And now we go to pause mode and we test our rig. Let's rotate this guy. It works, it is bendy and all. Let's rotate this guy. Let's try our mouth. It should be working too. Very nice. What if we unhided the, the form layer here? Okay, and uh, display its bendy bones. Here are our bendy bones, as you can see. Very nice. And how about our inverse kinematics? They work nicely. How about the flip? It works nicely. The foot even is uh, flipping and all. And how about our new addition? The uh, bending foot. So rotate. Wow, it works very nicely here. And here too. So this is our great and amazing new rig. Uh, if you want to support the channel, I put it on Gumroad for purchase. And if you want to make your own, just follow the tutorial series and you'll be able to make your own. Thank you for watching and see you later. Peace.